subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any video from my channel. Hey guys, what's up? This is Technonic Fox. In today's video, we are gonna look at some Linux distro or various distributions of Linux. With that said, let's get started. If you guys wonder what a Linux distro is, it is simple and distro is an operating system made from Linux kernel. With kernel as the base, the distributions are made. Kernel is a main component in an operating system, which is responsible for major tasks like booting up your operating system, process management, memory management and concurrency. Unlike Windows, Linux is an open source free operating system. Anyone with clean computer knowledge can develop his or her own Linux distro. Any Linux distro is better than Windows or Mac when it comes to old hardware. Linux distros and the software that runs on them are far more optimized and compatible with the older hardware. If you are using Windows or Mac OS and feel slow, switch to Linux distro. You are guaranteed to see an improvement in performance. Some older versions of Windows and Mac OS are fast for older hardware but they don't get any support or updates unlike all distros that I have mentioned in my video. Choosing the right lightweight distro will depend on what you are going to use it for. Some distros are optimized for certain activities like servers, gaming, testing, etc. And etc. Now, let's see various distributions for Linux. One of the best Linux distributions for gaming is the StreamOS. StreamOS is designed and maintained by the Valve community. Best part is that you can use a stream controller to play games or also you can use your own keyboard or mouse. Defaultly, it is designed in a way that you can connect with the outside world to play together. But you can also use the desktop mode to use it like a normal OS. It requires a minimum of 4 GB RAM and supports various graphic cards like Nvidia, Intel, AMD. The next Linux distribution is the Batasera Linux. Batasera Linux is also another lightweight Linux distributions for gaming. It is easy to install, easy to set up, comes with pre-installed games. It just requires 512 MB of RAM. It can run on Raspberry Pi or any other nano PC. Lubuntu is the one of the most widely used lightweight Linux distribution. It just needs 512 MB of RAM and 3 GB of disk space. It has pre-installed softwares like Office, Browser, Media Player, Games, etc. You can use this as your main OS because of its beautiful interface and performance. The next lightweight Linux distribution is the Puppy Linux. It just needs 233 MHz processor and 128 MB of RAM and just 512 MB free hard drive. But the drawback is that you can't install it on your hard drive but you can run it on your live CD or USB drive. Kali Linux it is the one of the best widely used Linux distributions for ethical hacking and penetration testing. It is developed by the Offensive Security which is entirely based on Backtrack. It comes with over 600 plus tools pre-installed for security and forensics. The next Linux distribution for ethical hacking is the Parrot OS. Parrot OS is developed by the Frozenbox network. It is supported with cloud-friendly environment with online anonymity and encrypted system. The next OS for penetration testing is the Black Arts Linux. Black Arts Linux is another security based operating system that is built on top of other operating systems. It has its own repository containing thousands of tools organized in various groups and the list is growing over time. The next penetration testing Linux is the Deft Linux. It is one of the best OS for computer forensics. DEFT stands for Digital 
Evidence and Forensics Toolkit. It also contains DART, which stands for Digital Advanced Response Toolkit, which is a forensic system for Windows. Thanks for watching this video. Please watch till the end for a bonus health tip.